But we're not all Londo, so that's cool. And I always think you should be able to jump, but you can't. Like, this is a game which loves killing you, loves killing you with really stupid, stupid things, stupid reasons, you know, stupid scenarios, yet it won't let you kill yourself on that particular sequence. Never understood that. Excuse me. Ooh. But... There's so much information flying around now about Dark Souls 2 that it's so difficult to keep on top of it. Because there was, you know, press conferences, there's previews, and all sorts of crazy stuff happening, which is really cool, and it's nice that they're getting the community involved. Like, they, they flew the Soul Brand, well, I don't think they flew them. I think they had to pay for their own flights, but they invited the Soul Brand guys on Twitch to go and, and play Dark Souls 2, which I think is an amazing piece of progress for, for content developers slash entertainers who do things like Twitch and YouTube. Like, I obviously am incredibly jealous, and I, I disagree with some of it, where, you know, some parts of Soul Brand are practically unknown and don't pull in the biggest numbers, yet still got an invite, which I think is still amazing, but at the same time makes me wickedly jealous. So, what's going on here? Again, I press roll, but apparently my timing is, is not great. Oh, hi there, friend. It's done locked. That is some range, sir. So what we do? Oh, he's gonna poke me. Why? I was trying to play with you. Maybe that. Get off the screen, then, gargoyle tail axe. Shitty analog, not making me move. I should really heal before this dude romps me. Again. <laughs> Is that Indiana Jones, son? Die! Yeah! Oh, come on! What is the detection on this nonsense? The whip is horrendous. It should be such a good weapon, and it just sucks a big old fat donkey dick. It really does. It's horrendous. And it's a shame, too, because I think the notion of a whip is super cool, but they really could have given it so much... It should have had an like, infinite poise break, so it just stunned anybody, because it's slow as piss and barely hits. And it should have been really long. <laughs> oh, there he goes. To expect anything less is suicide. Yeah. He just unlocked me. Yeah. So I cross these rafters pretty much the traditional way all the time. There's a couple of really fun jumps you can do that shorten it a little bit, but I don't ever really do them, and I'm not entirely sure why. I guess it's just not something that really occurs to me to do. But then again, with the way my analog is on this really old ass pad, I don't trust any kind of precision. Wow, that was a really good backstep. Unfortunately, you can only backstep so many times, and I'm not running past him because the amount of times I've been pushed off by invisible barriers, which is something I don't think Dark Souls 2 has, and I'm really happy about that, because I hate the fact that the enemies leave an influence after they're dead. I think it's stupid. I think it's really stupid, in fact. Are you going to jump for me? Yeah, you are. So, he's not the cleverest, that one. But then again, neither is doing this. Oh. I was very close. Oh, then we get to fight my favourite gargoyle coming up. I wonder if there'll be gargoyles in Dark Souls 2. It'd be nice if there is.
What the hell was that? Did you see that weird thing sticking out of the geometry then? This guy's having trouble. Oh, the stupid auto aim is bumming me. Yeah. Keep gaming them shitty shields. Do you ever see anybody use the gargoyle shield? I know I don't. So in previous runs, I've come through this area and I've not killed anything, so maybe I should kill some stuff. Because I always run through Anna Londo. I suppose I always have ever since I knew I could do it. And it's understandable because when you first fight these Sentinel guys, they're very challenging. And they're very cheesy too because that shield will block things it should never block. And it'll hit you with things it should never hit you with too, which I completely disagree with. And it's something that only really happens in Dark Souls, and because I've been playing it for so long, I've kind of accepted it, and I shouldn't, because it shouldn't be that way. And a lot of people are that way with Dark Souls. A lot of people completely forgive its, its sins because they're so in love with it, because it's a fantastic game, aside from a really few horrible things. Oh, that went good enough. Oh, that was terrible. You have to excuse me, guys. It's been a while since I've done this. Oh, that'll do. What? There we go. So, my aim wasn't as shit as I thought it would be. I really do not like the fact the archers can see you from this point. It's so bullshitty. And I'm I'm playing this like my stamina is not max, and my stamina's max, so I don't know why I didn't even bothered. I'm gonna get hit by lightning here, it usually always happens. I think that's the second time it's not happened when I expect it to, which is rather disconcerting. And here, because I've got volume, I can hear if the guy behind me fires. He didn't. This is just douche villain, this. How did he get the arrow through then? Who the hell is this guy? Paul Daniels? And if you're American, he's a really shit magician. He was quite prolific during, like, the 80s or something. I'm not too sure. Whoa. Press wrong button. Oh! Yep. Well. <laughs> oh my god. Dark Souls. This is supposed to be a leisurely stroll. And yet I'm flying. But that really is Dark Souls, isn't it? At that point. So, because he didn't die on the first parry, we'll make sure he does this time. That was horrendous. <laughs> Truly despicable. Oh. I can't even tell where I am. Completely disoriented myself. So, if my souls are in a really precarious place, there is the possibility that I could lose them all, which doesn't really bother me. I'm more concerned about the 99 humanity, and even then, I can easily get that back. It's just a bit annoying. <laughs> and that's what I think I'm looking forward to most on Dark Souls 2, the fact that Every part of that game I've played has had bonfires incredibly close to bosses, and that is the one thing that wound me up on this game. Like, the only boss they seem to acknowledge that you might want to bonfire quite close to was Ornstein and Smo, and even then, that bonfire is kind of far away. So if you've got a fog ring, you can 
get past this area without anybody really responding to you, and it's super useful. Like, if you're really unconfident at playing this game, and you, you know it scares you still, and you're still in that phase where you don't have, you know, any real faith in your ability to beat stuff, the f the fog ring is the ring that lets you get away with murder. And I could get hit here. And I'm dead. It really is. It's it's such an overpowered ring, and if you combine it with the silent footsteps, the Sleeping dragon first. Oh wow, I didn't hear him. Fucking ninjaed me. That was very close. That was much closer than it needed to be. But, such is Dark Souls. I'm at that point now where it just never surprises me because it's always so random. And I think that's why people keep playing. Like A lot of people who haven't played Dark Souls that don't get it just don't understand why everybody keeps coming back and then when you play it you realize that it's it's legitimately one of the most challenging games but for completely different reasons to the bad reputation it gets in the media like the game is not impossible it's not the hardest game ever made it's just reliably challenging regardless of your experience and i think that is what makes it so special the fact that you can be the best player on the planet and dark souls will still kill you how many games can say that? Because I know myself that not many can. Right, have I got a dust crown? I do not have a dust crown. This is gonna make me fat roll. This is not gonna make me fat roll. This is glorious. Oh yeah. Moonlight Greatsword. Excellent. Right. And I got my shizzle back, which is good. And I never use the word shizzle, so I'm gonna stop. Sounds ridiculous. Sounds like someone setting fire to a cat. So, Onstein and Small with 8 Vitality is perfectly doable, but with my rusty skills, <clears throat> it's all going to come down to just how much damage I deal to Onstein, Stein, Steiner, Steiner, person. And how much this weapon's going to stun lock him, because big weapons do stun lock. And I've got a lot of stamina, so we'll soon see. So he's gonna fly at me. He's gonna do it his little twirl and fly. No, he's not. Fuck him. So we're gonna do this. Oh, he's gonna fly at me and cheese me through a pillar. Amazing. And do a rather concerning amount of damage. God, I hate that small run. He did it again! Like, you know when people said that this is a fair fight? It isn't. And you need to remind people that. Like, you can get good at it, but there is no part of this that is remotely fair when they can hit you through geometry. I'm sorry. And I like this fight, so... As much as I don't think it's... Wow! What happened then? Except for Arnstein's anus getting slightly torn. How did I poise that? Do you think it's because I was in the Estus animation so it couldn't grab me or calculate the grab? That doesn't... that can't be true. I'm gonna have to watch that back because I don't understand it. So, this is Fatty. Can I do that to Fatty? I can, but unfortunately... Um, fortunately, a lot of my stuff is done. That's not cool. I didn't see damage numbers then, that was strange. Oh, I did then. A lot of damage too. God, that hammer is so much bullshit, Small. Why would you give him a move like that? And he spams it. That's the worst part. If that was one move that he did rarely, I'd have no issue with it. But he, he's really cheesy. Cheesy, cheesy, cheesy. Dead. Not dead. Somehow not dead. I don't know why I'm healing with Estus, because it's fucking useless. <laughs> there we go. Much better.
<laughs> this might not have been the weapon to use for this. I might have done better just buffing something quick. That's definitely the right one, though. <laughs> Goodness me. God, weapons are overpowered. But that is one of those fights where it can go so easy, it can go so hard. It all depends on what they want to do. It's got nothing to do with you. And it makes me laugh when I watch people who are good at the game, but they attribute a little bit too much to them and a little bit not enough to the computer. Because I don't care how good you are, that fight can still kick your ass because it can just be complete and utter nonsense. And a lot of people have realised that and they just accept it because once again it's the aforementioned Dark Souls Syndrome. Ooh, I need to re repair it. So if anybody's wondering, this was the PvP build I was doing at low level when I was doing the Creeping Turd. But at that point, the, the low level stuff was kind of teetering out, so I didn't take that series any further, and instead I decided to, to level this character up. Come, Come here, the child, and rest your face between my chickies. Oh, my chicky chickies. I... Shut up. And this I have nothing remotely interesting to say because you cannot help but stare at my rocking tits. And I'm talking to somebody when I already have the Lord Vessel. Because <laughs> Eve was born not of normal conception but through the use of a USB key. So now that we've got that, bloody hell, look at him! I would love to invade that man. So we need to go and get the Hydra killed, 